Well, there you go. That's the Niti Aayog Vice Chair. Uh, he's done in the past. He's doing it again on why farm loan waivers are a bad idea. And as we got to that big ETI exclusive as well, Parisha Tyagi saying Prime Minister Narendra Modi personally holding meetings uh, to come out with uh, measures and reforms uh, for farmers without going down this dangerous path of loan waivers. I'm going to now invite uh, Vaikya Alag, eminent economist and former union minister on uh, business prime time. Uh, thanks so much for joining us here. So what we understand from our sources is that the Prime Minister's office is not keen on farm loan waivers, despite uh, the clarion calls of the Congress party and Rahul Gandhi saying he won't let the Narendra Modi sleep till farm loan waivers are announced. Instead, Narendra Modi is personally holding meetings with senior members of the government and other stakeholders for other kind of reforms. It could be maybe, you know, overhauling the Pradhan Mantri Fasal Yojana, giving a new lease of life to the crop insurance scheme. Is that a good idea? Um, I think long-term measures at improving medium-term and long-term measures that at improving agricultural productivity is something that we have been working for the last few years. I've written a book on it in the future of agriculture. My recent book by Palgrave Macmillan has a full chapter on that. And these steps are worth taking. It is unfortunate that we have not done much during the last few years. Agricultural capital formation, fixed capital formation as a part of agricultural GDP has been going down. So those are all steps in the right direction. They should have been taken earlier. Even if they are being taken now, that's very good. But that's not the issue. The issue really is that during the last four years or so, the terms of trade have moved against agriculture. This means that while you and me, our income has gone up by about 6% every year, the farmer, his income has gone down in real terms. In other words, it, these are not my statistics. They are Commission on Agricultural Price Statistics, CSEP statistics. Government has them. They should look at them. What it really means is that the farmer for one rupee of sale is getting less than one rupee in terms of purchasing whether for his consumption or for his investment. So that is a serious matter. It needs immediate attention and also the long term. Immediate attention does, I mean, I think it's absolutely ridiculous to say that you will, if you give the farmer some help in terms of restructuring his loans, that is at the cost of agricultural reform. Why? Why must I choose between two good things? Why can't the choice be between two good things and something bad? Or raise more resources? I don't understand this kind of economics. All the bad choices have to be done within the farmer and within, within agriculture. We know that the market schemes have not worked. The direct benefit transfer is not working. There's a lot of evidence. I mean, you read any one of the good, your, your newspaper has been giving reports so many places, other financial newspapers. So what is the response to that? You think the farmer is out on the march because he loves to do it? They are doing it because they're in trouble. And the government has to respond to that rather than political googlies with each other. Right. Uh, so as you pointed out that, you know, it's a need to do it. And uh, that is something which is also needed because, you know, when you are targeting good growth, as we just heard from a lot of, uh, you know, economists over there, uh, you need all sectors of the economy to grow. Correct. And what's been happening to agriculture? Please tell us that. Agricultural growth has been abysmal during the last few years. There is a slight turnaround this year, but that we also remember. Because preliminary st GDP statistics get revised. In any case, the GDP series is now of a different kind, and we are not quite sure until the CSO brings out the new uh, methods of paper. We are not quite sure of the details. So these things have to be done instead of just making them political googlies between two parties. Right, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for uh, giving us perspective on the, this piece of news flow. Once, of course, more details out, we'd like to touch base once again with you.